Okay, so this um, example will show using Ampere's law in a coax cable to uh, calculate the magnetic field um, in between the two conductors and external to both conductors. So the geometry is, imagine, as is true in a coax cable, that you have a central conductor um, and uh, let's say the current is going upwards, 5 amps in this case, um, and then the outer conductor, and typically there is an uh, insulating um, annulus around the central uh, cylindrical conductor, uh, that the outer conductor now uh, conducts the 5 amps uh, back again. So we'd like to find the B field between the two conductors, and we like to find the B field external to both conductors. So to do the first, to find the uh, magnetic field uh, between um, the two conductors, we're going to use Ampere's law, um, and uh, we'll use a an Amperian path that goes like this. And so um, uh, we know Ampere's law says that the sum of the uh, be parallel to this path around the path um, is equal to mu naught magnetic, uh, magnetic uh, permeability times the current going through the path. And so um, by symmetry we know that uh, this conductor will have a, a circumferential uh, magnetic field um, and uh, using the right hand rule um, if you placed your right hand on top of this uh, sketch with your thumb pointing in the direction of the current, uh, which is out of the page uh, for the central conductor, um, your fingers would curl in a counterclockwise direction as shown in the arrows here. So that would be the direction the magnetic field went. And then applying Ampere's law uh, would uh, then um, indicate um, that uh, B is everywhere uh, parallel to this um, path that we've chosen. So um, 2 pi r times b, it's always the same magnitude by symmetry, equals mu naught i, and then b is then mu naught i over 2 pi r. Mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7, and, and so the uh, magnetic field is going to be in the direction shown um, in a magnitude 10 to the minus 6 um, divided by the radius, and the radius then would be between the inner and the outer. If we go to um, uh, the outside of both of these conductors, um, B will be zero um, since on the path um, that, uh, that we've chosen, um, again, if the magnetic field exists, it's going to have, by symmetry, it's going to be circumferential. Um, and it would uh, be um, in, um, in follow this uh, uh, this direction, um, but there is a zero net current that comes through this uh, path. There's five amperes that's coming up out of the page, and five amperes that's going down again, and that indicates that um, this same um, quantity is equal to zero, which means B is zero, and so. The B outside um, the coax is zero, and indeed coax cables are used to, among other things, minimize external B. Often desirable, you don't want uh, the um, uh, magnetic field influencing other parts of a, of a circuit.